Every Sunday night, viewers look forward to new episodes of its hit reality show, 90 Day Fiancé, before the 90 days. But with Super Bowl 56 falling on Sunday February 13, fans will be wondering if the network will air a new episode of the 90 Day Fiancé spin-off during the football game. Keep scrolling below for schedule and find out if 90 Day Fiancé is on tonight during the 2022 Super Bowl. Is 90 Day Fiancé on tonight? Unfortunately, fans, 90 Day Fiancé, before the 90 days will not air tonight, Sunday February 13, 2022 during Super Bowl 56. For decades, many networks choose not to air new episodes of their TV shows on Super Bowl Sunday to avoid competing with viewership. When is 90 Day Fiancé back on? No need to worry, because 90 Day Fiancé before the 90 days will only be on a one-week hiatus. After taking one week off, the show will come back on Sunday, February 20th. What is his schedule tonight? The network will be airing a marathon of its hit series 1000 Pound Sisters instead of 90 Day Fiancé before the 90 days during the 2022 Super Bowl. Here's a recap of 90 Day Fiancé, before the 90 days season 5 so far. Of course, the show's hiatus comes just as the storylines reached peak drama. The Sunday February 6th episode was full of explosive moments, especially for couple Gino Palazzolo and Jasmine Pineda. As fans recall, the Michigan native whisked Jasmine away for a $2,500 vacation to San Jose Island off the coast of her native country of Panama as a way to make up for the fact that he did not buy her a Christmas gift. During what should have been a romantic couple's getaway, Jasmine received several direct messages from an ex-girlfriend of Gino's who wanted to warn Jasmine that Gino had been contacting her. After confronting Gino about messaging his ex, Jasmine exchanged messages with Gino's ex via DM and the ex revealed that Gino had sent her nude photos of Jasmine. Gino admitted that he sent his ex topless photos of Jasmine as a way to brag about his hot new girlfriend, but Jasmine was understandably upset that the pictures were sent to another woman without her permission or consent. The couple got into an explosive fight, which will continue into next week's episode, and it seems like fans will have to wait to see if they'll be able to work through this issue. Mike Burke and Jimena Morales got engaged on the episode during a very sweet proposal on the night before Mike was set to return home to New York after visiting his long-distance love in her native country of Colombia. But once he got back home, Mike started to worry about Jimena because she had become distant. In a preview for next week's episode, Mike quickly returned to Colombia to check in on his fiancé. Ben Rathbun decided that even though he was stood up at the airport by long-distance girlfriend Mahogany Roca when he landed in her native country of Peru, he wouldn't give up on her that easily. Despite his friends and family's concern that Mahogany is not really who she said she is, or that she's a catfish, Ben traveled to her town and invited her to meet him for dinner. The episode ended on a cliffhanger as Ben waited nearly an hour by himself at the restaurant. Fans will have to wait to find out if she shows up or not. Memphis Smith and Monai Hamza had a little bit of drama after she asked him to sign a prenup before they tied the knot in his native country of Tunisia. After going through all of the obstacles and paperwork needed so that Memphis, a United States citizen, can marry Hamza legally, 
He told Memphis that he felt they were rushing into marriage in a preview for next week's episode. It seems like viewers will have to tune in next week to find out if they do make it down the aisle. Why Los Monso Jaboimar and Kim Menzies were not featured on the February 6th episode, their storyline continues on February 20th. In a preview, Kim gave Soja Boy an ultimatum. If we leave here and I'm not in a relationship with you, I'm done, she told him. Ella Johnson and Johnny Gel also were not featured on the previous episode, but Ella gave Johnny an ultimatum on the preview as well. If you're not willing to come to Dubai, I am going to start seeing other men, she told her long-distance love. As for Alina Koshevnikova and Caleb Greenwood, their storyline seems to also be left on a cliffhanger after he returned to the United States and she returned to Russia after meeting for the first time in person during a trip to Turkey without coming to an agreement on whether they would date exclusively. However, the couple will not be featured on following episodes after Alina was fired amid her alleged racism scandal. Tax, 90 Day Fiancé 90 Day Fiancé, before the 90 Days Super Bowl, 